same 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 leg. Crossing the legs. Just cross my same leg. Should I cross my legs? No, I mean, you can. You can. We're basically wearing the same thing almost too. It's kind of funny. Hi, I'm Catherine Young, and I play Marion. Hi, I'm Jessica Young, and I play Kayla. Hi, I'm Ashley Young, and I play Kayla. Hi, I'm Jessica Young, and I play Marion. Oh shit, we can do this with one. Hi, my name is Ryan Painter. I am actor, writer, director, and I play Parker. Hi, I'm Catherine Young. And I play Marion. Hi, I'm Catherine Young and I play Marion. Hey, how's it going? My name is Ryan Plainter and I am playing Parker. So tell us about, uh, did y'all know each other before the movie? Did y'all work on anything together before the movie or no? We met each other once. Yeah. We were on set at the same time two different projects, but they were kind of interlapping that day. Mm -hmm. And we were briefly in the same room together. Yes. We might have spoke like three words. Mm -hmm. She's acting like she, she she remembers, but she didn't the other day. I had to remind her about this. <laughs> because, I just needed a brief refresh. Yeah, just yeah. like the same thing that happened earlier too. Anyway, nah, so, um, <laughs> Nah, so we so, so we met, we met before and um, and we we had a lot of mutuals and and um, and you know we had we had connected on a different project and and I was like hold on let me just let me just go to my memory bank and think of somebody that would be good for this and I was like yeah let me just reach out to Catherine and see see what's up and then she responded and here we are. Nice. Now, Kat, this was your first time in the film. It is, yeah, first real acting gig, I guess you would call it. How'd you like it? Tell us about it. I loved it. Um, Previously, I had experience in modeling, which there's a little acting in that, but not a lot. So it was fun to be able to have a full character to dive into, try to put yourself in someone else's shoes. And Marion has a really wide range of emotions, so that was really fun to try to portray. Mm -hmm. now, now, how does this differ from like modeling, though? Like, I had to like, go deep into like yeah. how, you, how you get ready for it. I feel like with modeling, typically you're playing an emotion. So they're either like, be happy, be sad, be angry. But with acting, you're playing all those emotions at once sometimes. You have a more complete role and you can really get deeper into those emotions because you can picture the circumstance the character is under. Yeah. How was the uh, chemistry, uh, Ryan, working with her first time actor? Yeah, I mean, it was it was, it was was crazy, you know. I, I was sometimes, I mean, we'll probably have some audio of me being like, yo, David, what the heck, man, dude, no way. So, um, <laughs> but, uh, but she, didn't, she didn't hear any of that. I wouldn't try to blow her ego up too much, but um, but yeah, no, I mean, she, she, she killed it. I mean, she did amazing. So, um, there's just a lot of things that you can't teach and, um, and, and yeah, she, she had them. So, um, a lot of the, a lot of these scenes, you know, we were just, we were just running through it and, um, and we would make small adjustments. It wasn't like anything. I, w I was kind of nervous to be honest, because you know, you, 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 you prepare for something so much and, um, and you're like, oh man, I'm against somebody that's never acted before. I mean, she's, she's had experience in front of a camera, but like, you know, it, it's, she's got the look, like it's perfect. And, and, and she killed it, she crushed it out of the park. So, um, so yeah, so thank you so much. And, 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 and it was just, it was just, just really cool to be able to see you know, different ideas and being on set and just giving small little adjustments and she's just taking and run with it, so. Mm -hmm. He's being generous, but I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Kat, how you feel about the chemistry? Like, you feel like this, like, after this film now, you're like, you know what, I want to get into acting a lot more. I definitely, I absolutely loved it. It was kind of my first time dipping my toes into it and I definitely want to continue trying to do more acting roles. It was also just such a great team. I think we got really lucky mm -hmm. with everyone getting along super well. Like we met for a day and after yeah. that, it just felt like it was yeah. people I've known my whole life. So it was a great team to be around. So really awesome first experience. Now, how did you prepare for this role? How did I prepare? Let's see, I think. <laughs> no, I was, I was listening. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I would kind of just go through the lines whenever I could, you know, like look in the mirror and try to speak them out. It wasn't too much to prepare for, I feel like, just because Marion is more of a figment of someone's imagination than an actual person. And so a lot of the scenes, it's like, okay, how would someone's dream girl act right now? Okay. There's something, um, do you have any type of experience, like there's something that drew, that drew you from the store or to the store? Um, not particularly. I think it's a really important matter to talk about and to, I think it's important to see it from someone else's perspective, to see it through the lens of someone who might be actually going through it because you'll have a lot more empathy to understanding drug addiction than just seeing it as it is. Yeah, that's all I'm about to ask you too, like what's, what's something you can take away from it, but yeah, like people that don't know their life, they can really like see this and like, further understand it in real time. 
Yeah, I think that um, that that one of the one of the things that's cool about this about this project is uh, putting a face to something that's so you know deadly, um, something that that it, it's like having a hold on you because people are so <clears throat> so quick to judge somebody with addiction, and um, and you know giving it like a like you know a face that everyone could could feel you know attracted to or whatever um, is is gonna is gonna really tug it a little bit more heartstrings and something some you know on the side of the street um you know seeing somebody that's that's going through it or whatever so um so yeah i, I feel like this this would be better for understanding just um low points of people's lives and uh and how hard it is to get out of it yeah. so. and i think comparing the addiction to someone you're in love with versus a drug makes it people have a lot more empathy for yeah, it because right, it's something exactly. everyone can relate to and speaking of having a hold um how was it uh trying to choke ryan <laughs> <laughs> Oh my hey, hey. god, I was so uncomfortable. <coughs> we were in this tiny bathroom. Don't fall out. No, you can just do it. Oh my god. Ready? I'm gonna win. <laughs> Go. Okay. And we're filming like this one scene. <laughs> it was the last scene of the night. It was like 2 p.m. 2 a.m. at this point. And Ryan's like, choke me. Just choke no, me. Oh, don't <laughs> out me like, like that, bro. <laughs> hold on. And I was scared. I was like, I don't want to hurt you. He was like, no, just put your nails in it. <laughs> Yo, whoa, hold on. No, all right, all right. Let me clarify, bro. Let me clarify. 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 I, 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 I felt like it was needed for the shot, okay? I was thinking about wallpaper stuff, and I was like, yeah, I mean, we got to make sure like, that the camera can see that she's choking me because if she just placed her hand there, it ain't going to be that big a deal, right? So we got to make sure that they can see it. I feel like that's one of those times where it's hard to be the director and the actor at the yeah, same time. Yeah, because I was like, oh my God. Because you don't want to. I don't want to yeah. be unprofessional, <laughs> but like, I, I, we needed it for the shot. <laughs> I think it was worth it, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, David, I knew David was going to out me in this interview too. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm not going to say everything because we got some stuff. But <laughs> <laughs> this man, bro, <laughs> what? I can put you out there. But what's, what's, what's funny looking at some of the footage is like, for one, you're trying to direct, but how you act, you get into character way before action is said. But then you're trying to tell somebody at the same time, you're like, okay, tell me. Okay, no, whatever. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that was the other thing about those scenes is his character, he was playing a really drunk character. And then in between cuts, you'd have to direct me at the same time. You don't have to snap my neck to you, just push it okay. slightly. Yeah. And the girl's trying to give me a Just like, ow, shit. <laughs> They have to like get him, get back into that character. Uh -huh. That was that was the hard thing was you know just like being professional, making sure you understood like the direction, and then still jumping back into my role because sometimes you know I was I was still like acting out of it and everything, and I was just like yeah just, just do do it <laughs> do it. it. Too much. You, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was just kind of like was this guy actually drinking? No, there was a second. It was so convincing. I was like, did he drink before this? Like, was he on something? Yeah, I was impressed for yeah. sure. It's convincing though. It's, I was just just looking at it and. Like I've, I've worn those hats, right? Yeah. So to see it and then to see you do all of them at the same time is hilarious. You think it's that easy? Just go. <laughs> you think it's that easy? Yeah, I need to watch it because I'm yeah. sure there's something in between takes. I'm just like, yo, David, like get the shot recorded. Like, okay. 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 <laughs> okay, action. Uh, 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 action. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was such a great experience, man. It was it was just so cool being able to wear like multiple different hats and um and. And you know, just getting to bring people up like this, and um, just just such genuinely good people that are in the industry. It's so hard to find that, and and um, and yeah, I mean, it was it was it was cool being able to be like, oh, director, oh, actor, you know, this this is pretty cool. So, what does your role Marion mean to you? Marion is basically the personification of the drugs that Parker is taking. It kind of puts a face to it, and like the drug at first, she seems like this escape from a reality, and everything's dreamy and great. And then later on, you realize she's not what she seems, but she still has this really strong hold on Parker, like the drug does. Mm -hmm. And and that and that really is portrayed um, through real life too. I mean, you know, it's like it's like a it's like a quick and easy escape um, from real life, but then reality hits back in. And all of a sudden, it's it's not it's not as um, it's not as glamorous as it was before, and not as perfect as it was before. So that's what I really wanted to be able to portray was you know Parker's having his perfect life, and he's and it feels like everything's going good, and then it it can change just like that. So um, and yeah, and she and she crushed it being able to do that. So I have to ask you, Kat, last one. How'd you feel playing the crazy psycho chick? 
Honestly, it was so much fun. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's a red flag. It probably is. But I feel like especially with the modeling stuff, it's like you have to be all like happy and perky and looking cute. So being able to just have like mascara running down my face, acting absolutely crazy. Yeah. It was a blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was cool being able to see her lock into that too and um and 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 you know, just really kinda go into the roles. And I was like, yo, she's actually kinda wild right now. Like I, I <laughs> let me back up a little bit, but um yeah, that's what we wanted. I mean, that's what we needed. We needed a drastic change from um, from from the perfectness of the dream dream life to uh, the reality of you know the crappy one. So, one more thing. I promise it's the last one. So, so, tell us about this whole bacon thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ryan put <laughs> a spotlight on his cooking abilities. Oh man, I, I swear I could cook, man. I swear. We basically we were trying to get this shot of bacon sizzling, yep. but at this point the bacon had been in the pan for like two hours. For it, was, it was just not sizzling. It wasn't happening. <laughs> Ryan goes, "Hold up, I got this." Comes back, dumps like half a stick of butter on the yeah. pan. It's sizzling great, by the way. I yeah, mean, like yeah, inventive. Yeah. Yeah. sizzled fine yeah. and then it just completely burns so we got the shot we're like okay great and then it wouldn't stop sizzling <laughs> smoke was just going up in the air the bacon was black at this point oh ryan God. like runs outside with the pan like don't let the fire alarm we go. had to go out there we're making some bacon stew man i mean i <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't even know the cp got security thing. code and <laughs> and i was like if this if it, if it starts smoking enough the fire department's gonna come quick we're we gonna set the fire alarm off and I'll, i actually don't know if i know the code or not Oh yeah, we poured water on it one Yeah, point. I had to do, I had to do something. Worse. Yeah, it was worse bad. Should I turn it on? Okay, let's turn it on. That is smooth. That thing's about to burn. Get it off, get it off, get it off. Get it off, oh shit. So in summation, Ryan can't cook, and his, his hands are weak. <laughs> I have to go Wait, say let's be like <laughs> But um, but but yeah, no, we had a lot, we had a lot of good times. There's a picture of me and David. I'll have to, I'll just see if we could throw it up. Me and David <laughs> outside to, with, with with the pan. Burnt bacon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, we were just trying to make it work, man. Just get, just get the B-roll, so that's all it was. But. He just wanted quirky behind the scenes. Like, yeah, that's what, it, that's what I did. Basically. I put that thing on high, too, man. That thing was yeah. on high. I'm gonna make <laughs> <a> story, <laughs> whether you like it or not. It yeah. got black very fast. I've never seen broken, bacon burn that fast. I know, it was crazy. My goodness. That was crazy. Uh, that's about it. You got anything? No. Anything? Thank pleasure. you so much. Thank you. Yeah, pleasure working with you. Pleasure working with you, too. Awesome team, awesome team. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, I didn't even say wait. No, shouldn't I say like thank you for the opportunity? Oh Lord. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's on you. you ready? Wait, I didn't have any plans. No, just, just shake my hand. Just shake my hand. Dude, I'm shaking your hand. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Damn. I'm so sorry. It was so great working with you. It was amazing working with you mm -hmm. too. Thank mm -hmm. you for the opportunity. Yep. Of course. <laughs> God damn. I knew it was gonna be the worst one. I was like, okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> this is a big one. <laughs> <laughs>